Welcome to Food Fights, and in today's video, you and I are going to be trying these two brands of cheese crackers. On the left, weighing in at 6.5 ounces, is Nabisco's Better Cheddar's Baked Snack Crackers. And on the right, weighing in at 7 ounces, is Ritz Cheese Crispers. Also by Nabisco, and hey, they're new. Most of you know by now, I love cheese crackers, and I know you do too. So I've been looking forward to this video because I haven't had Better Cheddar's in a long long time, and Better Cheddar's has always been my favorite cheese cracker. But actually, I didn't think they made these anymore, so I was surprised to see these on the store shelf. And in here with the Ritz, with these new, what are they, cheese crispers, I've never seen these before, and I've certainly never had them before, so I'm really curious to see how these things taste. So yes, this is really going to be a lot of fun, and yes, I'm looking forward to this. So we want to find out which one of these two taste the best, and which one of these two are the better value. Well, for the Better Cheddars, I paid $1.16 for this box, and that works out to 17.8 cents an ounce. For the Ritz Cheese Crispers, I paid $2.93 for this box, and that works out to 41.8 cents an ounce. So obviously, the better value is the Better Cheddars. But as always, they're only a better value if these things taste any good. But if they're anything like I remember them, these things are going to be amazing. But since I've never had these before, the Ritz Cheese Crispers, crispers, I really have high hopes for these. So let's see what's inside these things anyway. And this is what we have in the Better Cheddars. And it's real similar to what we see in a lot of cheese crackers, but obviously mixed in different proportions are going to give you a different flavor. So let's see what's in the Ritz Cheese Crispers. Potato flour, that kind of threw me for a loop. Yeah, potato flour is the main ingredient. There's actually cheddar cheese in there, which is kind of nice. I'm assuming real cheddar cheese in there. So that's interesting that they're using potato flour, but it is it's good to see that they're using real cheddar cheese. Let's look at the better cheddars again. And there's cheddar cheese in there, so that's nice to see cheddar cheese in the better cheddars. As for the packaging, even though the rich is new, I'm gonna have to go off the better cheddars just because the better cheddars were my favorite. Whether they still are or not, I don't know. But yes, I like the packaging of the better cheddars just for nostalgic reasons. But like I always say, it doesn't matter what the package looks like. What matters the most is how these things taste. So I say we find out right now. So let's crack open the better cheddars and see what we have here. And I'm going to try to open this without mutilating the box, and it went really well. And your typical old plastic bag in there, and we can see what we have. So I'll pull this out so you can see really how many crackers. Look at that. They're nicely stacked up in there. Those really look good. So that's quite a nice bag of crackers there. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, yeah, that opened up really, really nice. Well, look, there's hardly any broken ones in there. That's actually kind of unusual. It's nice to see a bunch of really nice unbroken crackers in there. So let's open up the Ritz and see what we have here. Oh, that Ritz really opened almost too easy. It looked like just a little bit of glue on there, but they opened up really nice. Yeah, and this looks like the same exact kind of bag. And let's see what we have here. Those look pretty darn good, too. So let's open the bag up of the Ritz. What are the Ritz? What are these? Cheese crispers. I not able to open that up. Well, I probably could, but I know if it just let loose, it's going to go flying. So I'm going to open this to try the true method, and that's with the old teeth here. Not old, with the old, O-L-E teeth here. Say, these teeth aren't old. I just got them yesterday. Ooh, that looks good. Look inside there. Oh my gosh. Oh, so it's not just a cheese cracker. It looks like a cracker covered with kind of cheese powder. So this is going to be different than the better cheddars, if the better cheddars is how I remember them. But yeah, there's a whole lot of cheese flavoring on that cracker. So this is going to be interesting. So let's pull one of each of these out of here. So the better cheddar is on the left, and the rich cheese crispers is on the right. And I really thought there was going to be about the same type of cracker, but these are really totally different. Not just the shape, but just like the design. So what I'm seeing here, I mean, the, the better cheddar is kind of like what I would call like a cheese head or like the goldfish or something, whereas like the cheese is in the cracker itself. Where this looks more like a, a thin, rich cracker with this cheese flavoring just kind of sprinkled all over the top. I really thought these were going to be kind of similar, but these are completely different. These might be too different to even pick a winner here. I don't know. This looks like it could be really, really tasty. I don't know. So let's see if one of these is any thicker than the other. And yeah, it looks like the actually the Ritz is thicker, maybe a little bit more air. It looks almost like a flying saucer, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So let's start with the better cheddar and let's see how this tastes. 
Mmm, nice crunch, plenty of salt, nice flavor, and I'm really getting that, that cheese flavor kicking in now. So yeah, it has a very similar taste of a Cheez-It cracker, if you've ever had those, uh, which is also kind of similar to a Goldfish cracker. All right, so let's try the Ritz Cheese Crispers and see how this is. Mmm, wow, oh wow. It's definitely crispier. It's like it's baked a little longer, or maybe fried a little bit longer. And you see it's very airy too, but it is crispier. And oh my gosh, there is a lot of flavor in that. That is really good. Oh wow, but it is completely different than this. Let's try this one more time. Let's finish off this better cheddar and try that. Mmm, oh that's really good. A nice full flavor. Mmm, a savory flavor, and lighter on the crunch. The better cheddar has more of a cracker flavor, and the, certainly the cheese is in there, but since it doesn't have that seasoning all over it, you're just getting a cheese cracker taste, which is a good thing. So let's try the Ritz one more time and see how this compares. Oh my goodness, that Ritz is really amazing. But is it any better than the better cheddars? Well, we do have a winner here, and I'm surprised. Remember I told you my better cheddars are my favorite cheese cracker, and the better cheddars might be something more that you'd want to put you know, like a dip or something on, or some pepperoni or whatever. The better cheddars would be more suited for a cracker for something like that, or maybe putting some more cheese on. But they're really, they're very good by themselves, but they are a better value. I mean, this box was only just slightly more than a dollar. When it comes to taste, oh my freaking goodness, this was amazing. I don't think I've ever had anything that tastes quite like this. There was a whole lot of flavor in here, and these are very, very crispy. So when it comes to taste, oh my gosh, the winner is the Ritz Cheese Crispers. 